Today we're going to talk about how to solve systems of linear inequalities. Remember, a system of equations is two or more equations with two or more variables. A system of inequalities is two or more inequalities with two or more variables. We're going to use the graphing method to do this today, and this is how we're going to do it. Let's just take a quick look at an overview. The first thing we'll do is graph the first inequality. Then we'll graph the second inequality. See the area in the lower left-hand side here that's in purple because it's shaded by both colors? That is the solution set. The solution set contains x and y values that you can plug into both inequalities to make them true at the same time. It's just like a system of equations, except now there's really an infinite number of possible combinations. You could pick anything in that solution set, anything in the purple area, and it will work in both equations. There is one special case to keep in mind, and it doesn't pop up very often, but it could. On the right-hand side here, I've graphed one line and done its shading. Then I've graphed the other line and done the shading. But notice that the lines are parallel and that there's no intersection at all with their shading. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. Because they don't overlap at all, we say that there's no solution. Now, let's take a look at some examples of this. As we work through the examples, you may find it necessary to pause the video as we go so that you can do things like construct the graph. I may go through the graph pretty quickly because I know at this point you know how to graph an inequality. However, as we're going so that your notes are complete, you should pause the video and do some graphing for each example that we do. In the first example, we have y is greater than x and y is less than 2x plus 3. This is a system of inequalities. There's two or more inequalities with two or more variables. I begin by graphing the first inequality. y is greater than x. I constructed the line. It was a dashed line because y is greater than, not equal to. And I did the shading. I put my pencil on the line. Greater than makes me think of going up. And I knew where to shade. Next, I'll graph the second inequality. y is less than 2x plus 3. In purple, I graphed this line, and I did the shading. Once again, it was a dashed line because it's not equal to 2x plus 3. It's simply less than. Now that I've done that, I can look to see if there is an area that's shaded by both inequalities. There is. It's right here where we see the blinking S. S stands for solution set. Pick any value in that area shaded by both. Any value in that solution set. And it will make both inequalities true at the same time. Example three is for you to try. I'm going to ask you to pause the video and graph each of these inequalities. See if you can identify the area that contains the solution set. Then come on back. We'll take a look at how you did. Let's see how you did. The first thing I did when I looked at this is I said, okay, I need to graph y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. It was a solid line because it's less than or equal to, and I'm shading below it. I put my pencil on the line, less than makes me think down, and that told me where to go. Then I graphed the line y is greater than or equal to negative x, and I did that in red. Now I look for the area shaded by both colors. Do you see an area that is shaded by both colors? Well, here it's the purple one. The purple area is the solution set to the system of inequalities. Pick any value in there, and it will make both equations true at the same time. The next example that I'd like to look at is example 8. Example 8 is a little bit strange. Here, I have to get them into slope-intercept form, which I know how to do. I subtracted x from both sides on the first one, divided by negative 1. And remember, when you divide, the inequality symbol flips. I did the same kind of thing to the second one, and I ended up, once again, with y is greater than or equal to x plus 2. Both of them are the same inequality. 
So I graph the blue one, and then I graph the second one, which is the red one. Notice what happens. They're the same exact line and the same exact direction for shading. The inequalities are the same. Nonetheless, because I do have an overlapping area, that overlapping area is the solution set. Take any value in the shaded area and put it in. It'll make both of them true at the same time. I suppose that actually makes sense because since they're the same inequality, if it makes one of them true, it clearly must make the other one true. Now, I'm sure that you probably want to try a couple of more. And there are several more examples in the notes packet today. Remember, the solutions are on the website under Notes and Home Fund Packets. I recommend that you try you know, one or two more examples, just see how you do, and go on to the website under Notes and Home Fund Packets and check your work against the answers that are there. That way, if you have any questions, you'll be ready to go and you can ask when class starts tomorrow. This is everything you need to know about solving systems of linear inequalities.